Hey guys, it's Miss Delitto. Let's take a look now at writing and then solving multi-step equations. Jackson and Cameron each have some number of jelly beans. Jackson has J jelly beans and Cameron has four less than twice the number of jelly beans Jackson has. Together they have 32 jelly beans. I'm going to start by writing an expression, so no equal sign, that models the number of jelly beans that each kid has. So we know that Jackson has J jelly beans, so the expression that's going to represent his jelly beans is J. We know that Cameron has four less than twice the number of jelly beans that Jackson has. I'm going to start with twice the number of jelly beans Jackson has. Twice means times two. So we know Cameron has two times what Jackson has, which is J. So two times J. And we know he has four less than that, which means we're going to subtract four from two times the number that Jackson has. In order to understand that together they have 32 jelly beans, that means that Jackson's jelly beans, so Jackson's plus Cameron's jelly beans, together equal 32. So now I'm going to revisit my expressions. So Jackson had J jelly beans. Cameron had 2J minus 4 jelly beans, and I know if I combine them together, I should get 32. So my equation is j plus 2j minus 4 is equal to 32. When we solve multi-step equations, we know that we want to simplify anything that we can first by either combining like terms or using the distributive property. In this case, I see j and 2j that I can combine. So I have 3j minus 4 is equal to 32. And now we have an equation we can solve. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So 3j is equal to 36. And then divide by 3 on both sides to get j is equal to 12. Now we have to think about how many jelly beans do each of these kids have? So what does J equals 12 really mean? Well, we know that Jackson has J jelly beans. So if J is equal to 12, that means that Jackson has 12 jelly beans. So Jackson's was easy to figure out. Now we have to figure out Cameron's. We knew that Cameron had twice the number that Jackson had, but four less than that. So we now need to think about Cameron had 2J minus 4 jelly beans. If J is equal to 12, that means Cameron had 2 times Jackson's 12 jelly beans, but 4 less. 2 times 12 is 24 minus 4. 24 minus 4 is 20. So this tells us that Cameron has 20 jelly beans. We can go back and we can check because we know together Jackson and Cameron should have 32 jelly beans. If Jackson has 12 and Cameron has 20, together they have 32.